uh, let's imagine that it started off um, as I should use dark blue really hold on let's let's see if I can match up the colors um, so the original DNA looked like this it's been I've untwisted it so it's not got a helix I've just un, unhelixed it but it looked like these kind of railroad tracks up here right this is the original DNA now we want to copy this DNA and so I could I guess like open it apart at one end and then just keep opening it apart all the way along right but that would take a long time so instead I'm gonna do what we see right here all right I'm going to pull it apart at multiple places down the length of the chromosome so imagine this is one chromosome and I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna sort of pinch either piece of DNA and I'm gonna pull it apart here and I'm also gonna pull it apart here and I'm also gonna pull it apart here so there's multiple locations down the length of this chromosome where I'm pulling it apart you can see these little black dots here these little black dots are kind of where I was pinching the DNA on the top and the bottom and un, um, melting the hydrogen bonds and pulling the two strands apart. Uh, and so the place where I initially held onto the DNA to pry it apart, that's called the origin of replication. And on this chromosome you can see there are multiple origins there's one there 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 lots of origins lots of places the origin is where you start something so there's lots of places down this chromosome where I can start copying it and we start at all the places at once so we pull apart multiple origins and then because the DNA is um, expose once you've pulled it apart and the bases are like not paired anymore uh, you can get in there and build the new DNA and you can see the pale blue here is the new DNA that's being made lined up with the old DNA right we're, we're making it in multiple places each of these bubbles is getting longer and longer at the same time in both directions. So there's a lot going on here. So this pale blue piece here is getting longer this way. And this pale blue piece is getting longer that way. And this one's getting longer that way. And this one's getting longer that way. So now you can see they're this long and this long and this long and this long. So until eventually these pale blue pieces between the two bubbles are gonna join up. The bubbles just keep expanding, 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 and this bubble's gonna be expanding, and this bubble's gonna be expanding, until eventually all the bubbles merge. So this bubble will merge with this bubble, and this bubble will merge with this bubble, and you will end up with this situation down here where all the bubbles have merged together. The original DNA is on the top and the bottom of this diagram. And then the new DNA that was built has all merged together and we've got a continual piece from one end to the other. So instead of just going from one end of the chromosome to the other, you start it in multiple places down its length and it gets longer in all directions until all the bubbles merge and you get one completed copied piece of DNA, one completely copied chromosome. And this way you can speed the process up because only replication is happening in multiple places at once and it's all going to join instead of just go happening at one end to the other. So it makes it way quicker. In the next video, we're going to really zoom in on the end of one of these bubbles. All right. And the end of one of these bubbles is called the replication fork. It's where all the action is happening. This like it's like a fork in the road. Here you can see how the the DNA is kind of separating the, the original DNA is separating apart like a fork in the road. That's the replication fork here. There's two forks on each bubble, right? The left fork and the right fork, the left side and the right side. So the vocabulary on the side you have an origin of replication which is where you start pulling the bubble open then you have a replication fork at either side of the bubble right and then we are 
replicating the DNA using the parental strand as the template, building the new strand, which is the daughter strand.